Hey, First Baptist, I'm glad to talk with you on this winter week. Uh, thankfully, it's not been too brutally cold, except for that one bad cold snap we had. I'm sure when our heat bills come, that'll give us enough of a warm up for a while that uh, it will move us on. Anyway, I'm glad to get to be with you in the first full week of our Red Letter Challenge. We had a really good start on Sunday. I was so thrilled with your presence in worship. Some of you joined us online. Our Sunday school classes, the reports I got were invigorating. Lots of conversation, lots of thoughtfulness, and, and a good bit of response. So I wanna thank you. We have a few more books that have come. We've ordered and reordered and reordered. So if you don't have one, if you'll call the office first to make sure we've got one before you make the trip down, we'll probably need to reorder again in a couple of days. You'll recall that the books we started actually using on Tuesday of this week, and uh, we'll continue doing that through the 18th of February. This Sunday morning, we're going to talk about being with God. A lot of us get really, really busy. Our day timers are full, our calendars are slammed. We don't know when we can take time to breathe. And being with God rather quickly loses its priority in the midst of lots of meetings and activities for parents who are going from one event to another, from school to church to ballet to dance to gymnastics to basketball, on and on it goes. And if you're watching this and you're one of those parents, please know you're in my prayers. I wanna to talk to you about how we're gonna look at being with God on Sunday. I read a lot of books about being with God. Some of them are very, very philosophical. Some of them are a little bit holier than that, to be honest. The two I've found that are the most helpful to me are by authors that I have enjoyed for a number of years. And we're gonna talk on Sunday about some very practical ways to be with God. In fact, I'm gonna give you a business card to put in your wallet or your purse with some simple steps. These are not going to probably uh, make any bestseller list, but they're just some simple steps about how we can spend more time with God in our routine of the day. And I think, in fact, I'm confident because I've tried these, I'm confident it will help us have a closer relationship with God, not only this week, but every week. I hope as you're praying this week, you're praying not only for our Red Letter Challenge, but you're praying for upward basketball and cheerleading. Robin Wilson tells me we have 150 children involved in upward basketball and cheerleading this year. That gives people every week a chance to learn more about the scripture, which is our goal this year as we grow closer to God. So I hope you'll be praying about this week, about the Red Letter Challenge, about Upward, and about all the many mission and ministry activities that take place here every day of the week. Pray with me if you would. Lord God, thank you for our church. Thank you for a new tool to study your word. Allow us this week to focus on what it means to be with you so that we can draw closer to you through prayer, through study, and through service. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.